Hi guys, and welcome to a very different episode 46 of the Kershey Cakes podcast. My name is Clarissa Beth. I am your host for each and every one of these podcasts. And if you're a new viewer, thank you so much for checking out the podcast. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for sticking with me, especially given that on the 4th of June, it was my podiversary. It was my two year podiversary. But life has been life, it's been crazy, and I didn't have time to record my super awesome special episode. And also, like, iTunes in my laptop won't work. I mean, not iTunes, iMovie in my laptop won't work, so I can't really edit the old videos that I wanted to in to kind of make it a super awesome special episode. But what I can tell you was that I didn't record a super awesome special episode last week because I worked all week. I worked closing three days and I was just so dead tired by the end of it that I didn't even have time to craft. Seriously, I think I've crafted more in between Sunday and Monday than I have crafted in about the two weeks that I last spoke to you. So one of the other reasons I have not been able to craft at all, at all, has been We got a puppy and boy is it a handful of a puppy it's so ow stop biting go down so hectic and he's back because he's being naughty and he's trying to eat dirt i don't know how he found actual dirt but i think it's from the sliding doors that go outside and he's just been trying to eat it i don't know why because He's eaten, but whoa, don't go for that. Yeah, so let's just put up with him while he behaves, which lasted five seconds. I seriously don't know how this episode is going to go, guys. This is the second time I'm recording it because the first time was just, like I said, I accidentally deleted it, but that was a blessing in disguise because it was just a whole bunch of nonsense and puppy interruptions and just climbing the walls for me. So first off, I want to apologize for showing up here, half made up. <laughs> I'm not wearing the usual amount of makeup and that's mostly because I just couldn't be bothered <laughs> to wear makeup. I'm tired, I'm frustrated, and yeah, I just, I couldn't be bothered to hide that <laughs> in a mask of makeup. So now that we have that out of the way, I can move on to all the life and crafty bits that I have to share with you. So like I said, it was my podiversary, which I'm really sad that I didn't get to be super special about. Um, but the other big news that I've got is that on the 15th of June, which is this um, Friday, if I'm not mistaken, the Summer Romance Cal starts again. Now, the Summer Romance Cal is something that Claudia came up with uh, last summer and she approached me and said we wanted to co-host a Cal. And of course I said yes, because uh, why wouldn't you want to co-host a Cal? Hmm. Anyway, so this year we assigned a special theme to that Cal and it's the bad boys and girls we love Cal. Now, um, I think to go along with this Cal, Claudia had sent me a super awesome kit that I'm gonna share with you guys. She will have these for sale in her shop, but I just want to share it with you because it's got basically all the information you need to know about the cow. When it starts, um, oh, it doesn't have the, there you go. This is the hashtag for Instagram and you can kind of read there what your kit, if you purchase it, will include. So if you've got a journal, don't be put off because I plan to just um, tape or glue this to one side and then use the other project card to actually write down the information because I honestly don't think I'll have time to do more than one project. I barely have time to breathe right now and I hope you were able to read what the kit includes. You've got the official badge button pin, and beautiful progress keeper, and some delicious sounding tea which I've been saving to show you guys um, before drinking it. And ooh, 
we've got some strawberry lip balm because we always need to take care of ourselves don't we and I don't know about you guys but when I'm crafting I forget to drink water I forget to moisturize my hands you know it's just a whole shebang so I hope you're able to join us for the bad boys and girls we love cow um, like I hope you were able to read it starts on the 15th of June which is this Friday and it runs until the 13th of August um, Whips are welcome as long as they're no more than 50% done. So if you started a garment for any of the garment cows or if you're participating in the Summer of Sorcery cow from the Bakery Bears or if you're participating in the Cal Cal from the KCACY podcast and I'm probably missing a lot, but whatever the point is, you can double dip if you've got, you know, are so inclined or if you've got a theme that can fit with any of those products. Um, as I've mentioned previously, my bad boy is Draco Malfoy, and I've chosen to represent him using um, yarn to represent the unicorn hair core that his wand has. So basically, I'm going to be using Best Silk Lingerie from Craftinoon Treats. It's already wound up and everything. And Duck Egg from Craftinoon Treats, because these colors to me just seem as soft and silky as a unicorn. Plus, it's also made with 85% Romney Lambs wool. Excuse me, my puppy's gotten issues again. I'm back. He was just curious about the barkling door and now he's out there exploring, hopefully in a quiet and friendly manner. <laughs> right, as I was saying, these yarns to me just say unicorn, you know? And they really do feel like unicorn hair. It's beautiful and soft. 85% Romney Lambs wool, 5% BFL, and 10% British alpaca. And of course, they're from Craft New Treats. I've had these forever, and ever since I bought them, I knew I wanted to make an Ollivander shawl from Kay Jones representing Draco Malfoy's unicorn hair wand. So the fact that Claudia came up with the theme for bad boys and girls we love was just cosmic alignment. I'm really, really, really thrilled that we've <laughs> had that cosmic alignment. Okay, now he's trying to break through the screen to actually go outside. I don't understand this puppy. <laughs> so the other thing I did want to talk to you about was that I had mentioned I wanted to do a giveaway and a free pattern for um, my potiversary. So I wanted to create a pattern to give thanks to you guys and say thank you for supporting me and for encouraging me and just for being the awesome crafting community that you are in general. And I'm, I'm writing up the pattern for you guys. Unfortunately, it wasn't ready by the 4th of June and that is because I really did not want to put a subpar untested pattern out there. Um, even if it's just tested by me and meticulously tested at that, making sure that everything is well written, I, I just wanted to put something high quality out there because I want the name Crochet Cakes and Dainty by Crochet Cakes to mean high quality products. So basically I want my brand to mean high quality products. For example, um, when I order something from Sam from Betsy Makes, I. I think her brand is, you know you're going to expect a high quality product. And that doesn't mean there aren't any mistakes. It just means that it was made meticulously, you know? Vivian from Pearl and Plum, I also expect high quality products from her. Faye, hello, Faye from the Crochet Circle podcast. I always expect high quality of anything she comes up with. And I may not have made any of her patterns yet, but I do own multiples of her pa multiple patterns from Faye. And I've opened all of them and I've read through all of them. So following Faye's meticulous style when writing patterns, that is what I wanted to put out there. So in terms of that, I've rewritten the stitch design from the vintage instructions to, you know, more modern instructions that I'm okay with sharing with you guys. I've also crocheted a sample and I took pictures of each row for you guys so you guys can know at the end of each row what you're supposed to have 
of taking high quality pictures with my Nikon camera. I just have to fix them because um, I'm pretty sure the lens in my camera is shot or some part of it at least because it take, tends to take really dark pictures. Um, but that's not too problematic because it's easier to adjust the brightness level on a photo when you're adding brightness than when you're taking away brightness because creating shadows is a lot more difficult than highlighting them. I hope that made sense. If you've ever played around with Photoshop, I'm pretty sure that made sense because let me just show it to you real quick, real quick what I mean. Um, so when I take a picture, I've got a setting in my camera that allows me to see the histogram. And so what this histogram basically means is that it's on the darker side and you can kind of tell that it's on the darker side but um, that just means that I'll need to balance it out using Photoshop and I'll know when I reach kind of a balance of about between these two bars that the brightness level is okay. The other way you can achieve that is if you go um, you can actually buy this on Amazon. It's just a color card. Museums use them a lot and the most ex the best one is actually $50 worth and those color cards they are assigned numbers and you know the exact value of what white, gray, and black is supposed to be. So for example in that picture that I have a white background, if I click on the white background it'll tell me on the histogram the number of that white and if it doesn't match the number of the white that was on the color card then I can play with it until it matches that number. I'm sorry this turned into an impromptu photography lesson. Um, I apologize. Moving on to the actual crafty portion. So yes when writing this pattern I really want to imitate um, phase meticulous style so I bought yarn to work out the maths on the large on the large pattern and kind of see if just all the numbers add up and everything works well with the pattern I'm hoping it will because I really want to get this out for you guys so for the size small I just bought two um, skeins of this Bernat yarn this brings 8.8 .8 ounces, 250 grams. So even though it's a um, bulky weight, it does bring a lot of yarn. Also the yardage is 317 yards, so it's very generous and it's $10 at Michael's, um, but if you have a coupon, it's, it's a much better deal. So anyway, as I was saying, He's out there playing. As I was saying, when I bought the size, when I made the size small, I just bought two skeins and I had 1.9, 1.8, 1 1.9 ounces left over from those two skeins. So I'm really hoping three skeins will work, but um, I'll get back to you on that. I really have to get that started. But I've um, been distracted by new and shiny and just other things that have arrived in the mail and other ideas of things that I want to do but I will get this pattern out to you guys and it will be free and it will be done to the best of my abilities and yeah so I'm really happy with the way this is going and the attention to detail I'm paying to this pattern just, I just really want to produce the best. I haven't decided if I'm gonna start a blog and share it or if I'm just gonna post all the notes on Ravelry and if you're interested in making it then just um, message me and I'll email it to you PDF format. I'm not sure if that's uh, the way I want to go about it but we'll get there. I promise we will get there. I have not abandoned it. I am working on it little by little every day. And I also want to make a chart for the stitch just so it's easier to follow if maybe the instructions were a bit unclear, which I hope they're not. I've been meticulously reviewing them, as I've said. Right. So since we're speaking about garments, I guess I could move on and just show you a bit of the garment I'm working on for the garment top 
Cow, which is hosted by Faith from the Crochet Circle podcast, or the Garment Mao, which is hosted by Joanna from Opera Joe. And that is living in my lovely Crochet Luna bag. I love this bag. And I've just basically got 15 circles, rounds one and two done. I guess I should probably tell you what I'm making first, shouldn't I? Right, so what I'm making is the Secret Garden Dress by Cassie Ward. And it's just basically this. So on a closer look, you can tell she's got a sunburst granny square there. I was going to make a dress inspired by this one, but different. I just figured um, she already went through the trouble of figuring out all the sizing and everything, so why would I want to go through that again, especially if I'm still writing one pattern? So anyway, these are my four millimeter circles. I've got round one and two done. I don't know where I put my three and a half millimeter circles, but I'm just essentially using two colors to match, if that made sense. And I'm going to be tying them up with this uh, humbug colorway. And this yarn is all Conway and a lolly by Conway and Bliss from Debbie Bliss. It's actually discontinued, which I'm a bit sad about. I really like working with this yarn. It's 80% cotton, 20% polyester. 50 grams has 120 yards. And it's got kind of that knit look to it, the yarn. This is the apple colorway, lemon colorway, the toffee colorway, and the mango colorway. So I've just been going about the basic way of just working circles and then doing the round two. And then I'm going to start doing round three and working more circles and getting them up to snuff. I don't know if I'll actually be able to finish this for the summer. Um, top cow but I'm very excited to try and I'm really happy with how it's working up. I mean I've only have two rounds of circles but I'm happy with my circles I guess. Um, so that's been my main crochet. I haven't really been crocheting on my sock. I haven't been crocheting on the spicier life blanket and I haven't been knitting on my turban. I've knit on it a little bit, but it's not so significant that I want to share it with you today because today's a bit of a different episode. I just wanted to do an episode where I talked a bit about the summer romance cow, and then I just thought I'd sneak in some uh, life update and craft update things. Um, speaking of craft update, I'm wearing a necklace that was made by mom. Another thing I've been working on is my sock. Well, not my sock, Edison's sock, but he's been pretty, <laughs> like every time I sit down to work, he just asks me, are you gonna work on my sock? So I figured I would, because that must mean he really wants a pair of socks. <laughs> and the other day I said, oh, your feet are cold. And he just went, that's because I don't have a pair of hand knit socks to wear. <laughs> I get the message, he wants a pair of hand knit socks. So I'm just, you know, working on this slowly but surely. It's just 72 stitches, 2.25 um, millimeter needles, nine inch circulars. I'm up to the gussets. I already finished the heel flap and the heel turn. And the yarn I'm using was brought to me, uh, mom bought it for me from Germany. It's uh, like a souvenir. And I really love it. It's 45% wool, 35% cotton, 13% poly made, 7% polyester. It feels very bouncy and look at that stretch. It's very stretchy and lofty and I absolutely love it. And it's been living in my tartan bag. Uh, this is tartan that Allison gave to me uh, as a gift when I went to Edinburgh and I've just paired it with some Scotty dogs. Um, that really is it for a works in progress. I've got nothing that's finished. I haven't really sewn anything. Oh, that's a lie. I did sew something. 
and it was kind of a prototype because I wanted this to be the special bag for the Podiversary giveaway along with the uh, garment bag, um, garment bag, <laughs> along with the gar large garment. When I finish it, I also want to include it with the bag in this giveaway. But <clears throat> problem with this burr type is that I want to use some upcycled materials. So I had an old pair of jeans, but you know sometimes the jeans pockets aren't sewn straight. They're sewn at a curve to account for the booty. Um, so it's really bugging me that it looks slanted. And the other thing that's really bugging me is just how the zipper looks on one side and on the other. I really can't deal with that. And since I want like I said, I want the brand of crochet cakes to mean high quality. I'm not comfortable putting this out there. So I've got two options for this bag. Option number one, which is probably the route I'm going to take, is just break it um, break it apart. Option number two, finish it and just keep it for myself. Um, or option number three, leave it as is until I can come to terms with it. The other thing is it keeps catching on the top stitching, the zipper. So I'm just... In general, the idea was good. The execution was a bit lacking. And like I said, I really, really want the Crochet Cakes brand to just mean high quality things. High quality patterns, if I do patterns, high quality just everything. But yes, in terms of crochet and knitting, that is really it. I've already talked about the bad boys we love cow. I introduced my puppy. And the other thing I guess I should mention that I received in mail this week, I also did an Instagram stories on it, was my knit crate. This super awesome, super cadufret, super cadufretilistic espialidocious. <laughs> I love this month's knit crate. Um, here's what's included in the knit crate. And the colors are just, the colors are right up my alley. Just look at this. Just, just, just view that. It's just so, this is everything in my life. Lime green, aquas. I love it, I love it. And to make matters more beautiful, the crochet pattern is a garment. I meant to have this all caked up so I could actually start, but life, guys, life. <laughs> and this a year, the year, on this membership box, they also included a um, stitch marker. So um, remember, guys, if you want to check out the knit crate website then click on the affiliated link down below this is like i said an affiliated link so if you click on it and actually end up purchasing a membership or a box for the month i get a small commission for it and also if you use crochet cakes 20 all together you'll get a 20 percent off your first knit crate order awesome isn't it awesome I have to say I'm very happy and if you're watching this in June and you still have a chance to buy the Dune Artisan box, please do. It's just the colors, I can't even describe them. The, the colors are just, like I said, right up my alley. There's um, chartreuse, this got some chartreuse colors, uh, mostly lime greens and some aquas and some dark lighter, uh, some tones of aqua, I guess, some darker aquas, some lighter aquas. And it's just, it's just everything. So yeah, guys, that is it. This is a very short episode because as I mentioned, life just gets in the way and I haven't had a huge opportunity to craft. I do want to get some crafting done today, so I probably won't edit this podcast today and it'll probably be edited on Wednesday and go live on Thursday. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. I, what else can I tell you guys? How have you guys been? Have you been good? Have you been crafting a lot? Has life gotten in your way as well? 
Did you get a new puppy and he's just hogging all the attention and not letting you do anything? <sighs> I'm also just way behind on podcasts. Like, I think the only podcast I'm caught up with is Moms and it just doesn't feel right. I want some me time. I want some crafty me time where I just sit and watch podcasts and knit or crochet and not fall asleep after five minutes of doing it because I'm just so tired. <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, thank you so much for checking out this much different and shorter episode. I hope that you guys have been well. I hope that your crafting has been glorious, that you've been having a lot of summer fun. And most of all, that you've been happy. I just want you guys to be happy. So on that note, I will wish you a uh, happy crafting and until next time guys. And I may not know when that's gonna be, but I hope it's actually in two weeks and that I have much more to share with you. Oh, before I forget, um, I do have some, actually two bad boy themed themed bags for the shop that I really hope to get up there. And I've got some 4th of July, well, 4th of July slash summer bags that I'm also hoping to finish and get up there because if not, I'm going to be stuck with them until next summer. And that's not really good for a shop, is it? To have your inventory for one year. Also, some exciting news will be uh, happening once some patterns are finished. You know what I'm talking about, guys, if you're a long-term viewer. But other than that, that other than that, I think we are okay for today. I've got nothing else to share with you guys except to wish you a very happy crafting two weeks and just take care, guys. Bye! You want to say bye too? Say bye. Bye. Okay. He's sleepy.